Today, for the first time in 50 years, the Biden administration hosted a White House conference on hunger, nutrition and health. The goal? Ending hunger by the year 2030. WNY's Marsha Augustin spoke to the Food Bank of the Southern Tier, who attended the national conference. Marsha, how are they planning to accomplish this? Well, Nick, before I get into that strategy, the Food Bank of the Southern Tier tells me there should never be a situation where families in need don't have access to food. That's why they are at the national conference to help stamp out hunger right here locally. One of the biggest things that um, I've taken away from this today is um, the call to action. Like, we really have to take action on this if we're going to um, have no one hungry in 2030. According to the USDA, more than 13 million households in the U.S. are food insecure. Many attendees at this conference shared strategies on steps they are looking to take to end hunger, including Ann Lee with the Food Bank of the Southern Tier. We were hearing all of the great ideas that they have planned and the things that they want to have accomplished. And one of the steps the government is taking is speaking with the people who are doing the work on the ground locally, who know what's needed locally. To streamline the process to apply for WIC and SNAP and other benefits that are out there. They're also trying to um, really take action on um, the things that people need in your communities. They're talking to people like me who have lived experiences and getting to know what we actually need. The food bank in Elmira is seeing an increased need as many federal aid programs come to an end. We need more affordable and accessible food in the communities. Um, we need more money in our uh, pockets as families and as parents to feed our children. We need better meals at the schools for our children. We need free meals and free breakfasts for our kids all year long. It is that we live in America. We can produce enough food to feed our entire country and then some, but yet we're failing at it. The Food Bank of the Southern Tier added they just received increased funding from the Department of Health, which has helped their network of food pantries get more food. They received nearly two million additional dollars through the state's budget, Nick.